Today we're going to explore relays, an essential electrical component. A relay is essentially an electrically controlled switch. It allows us to use a small electrical signal to control a larger electrical circuit. This works similarly to a manual switch, but instead of physical movement, an electrical input triggers the relay's action. Let's look at this 12-volt relay as an example. It's a single-pole, single-throw type, meaning it controls a single circuit and has only two positions, open and closed. So here we have our circuit. If it had multiple poles, such as this, we could apply the current here to the coil, and we can throw four poles. Poles indicate the number of circuits a switch can control, whereas throws determine the number of positions a switch can control. So, this switch can only be thrown in one position since it is a single throw relay. Here we have a few examples of different relays that are commonly used in electronics. As you can see, they come in all forms, all different styles and packages. Some relays, such as this one, are even polarized. So, it depends on the placement of the positive and negative inputs as to whether or not the relay will be allowed to switch. This is a non-polarized relay, meaning it does not matter where I put my positive and negative current. If we add an input of 12 volts and refer to our meter, we have visual confirmation of a short, which means no current is able to pass through these two points. Now I can actually switch the polarity of the coil. So, I'm switching the positive lead to the negative position, and from here we can confirm that the relay is functioning. So this is a bipolar. It's a non-polarized relay. So whenever you encounter a non-functioning relay, you should measure the coil. If the coil measures good, there's either a problem with the relay or it may be a polarized relay, and you need to take that into consideration. There are all different forms of relay, such as the solid state relay or big power relays, such as this one here. This would be a small signal relay, rated only for less than two amps. And while this one can handle over 10 amps, so this is for larger power switching. Whereas this is signal switching for say, a control board, PCB, or some other application like that. So now we will go over one of the most common failures we see when it comes to relays, which is carbon buildup on the contacts. So here we have a relay that we found to be failed. And we can see that the reason for the failure is this high buildup of carbon on the actual contacts. So I will demonstrate this is the relay and show you what we mean. So now we can see that the brown wire is the coil, which is this piece here. This is what is going to cause these contacts to be able to close and allow current to pass out of these terminals. However, you can see a severe amount of carbon that has accumulated on this set of contacts. And what this has caused is that these set of contacts can't make a proper electrical closure because of how degraded it is. This carbon buildup happens from many, many activations of this relay over time and absolutely builds up until it eventually fails. Here on the other side, you can see that this side of the relay is used less frequently, or maybe not at all, depending on the customer's application. You can see this set of contacts are relatively clean without any carbon or corrosion on them. So likely this side of the relay is okay, and then this side of the relay is what has failed. So this is a good example of the type of common failure that relays undergo after years of use and normal wear and tear. This completes our video. Please subscribe to our channel for more technical videos. Thank you for watching.